An interesting few games we've had. There's a lot of tension on the, the refereeing and cards coming through. So this is, this is looking to be another tight uh, encounter. So, um, yeah, it's all before us. The big man, the man in a dollar, wanders by the commentary box. He is really an imposing figure. No man in dollar. Player coach for this Tropic side. Former Fijian rep. Yeah. One of those takes up the coaching role, but brings his boots. <laughs> okay, so we've got, uh, it'll be uh, Shogun to, to kick off first. Uh, with, the, with the sun at their backs, and it's um, Asprey Tropics uh, receiving. Nice Brayton high Hill kick with the kick there. Okay, ball retrieved by uh, Shogun. Scrambling on the ground. Calls from the crowd for offside, or possibly the Shogun bench, maybe. But uh, some good tight defense at the moment. Pressure on in the middle. Bit of space here on the right as Shogun make the most of it. But a Tropics player lets him run. Yeah, but Candy defending there. They uh, allowed him to run while the, uh, while the defense reorganized itself. So. Yeah, and they got out of a spot of bother there, you'd have to say. Yeah, the beers breeze is picked up down here at the football club. Makes it a bit cooler for the players. As Tropics clear their own 22. Okay, referee ruling not straight. Uh, position given away by uh, by Shogun. Yeah, good. Competitive Sorry, line out yes. there. A lot of explanation going on there from the ref, Sam. It's, um, <laughs> it's always harder to get it through the front row. So what, what's your experience? But it buys them 10 no, more board. seconds to rest. Yeah, and they've always got an opinion. So uh, healthy debate there already. A couple of big packs going against each other today. Chris Vinopolo with the feed. Strong to get play. It out. Great oh. little short line there coming in from the Shogun Center. Quick recycle of the ball, and we've got a two on one here, but excellent line speed defense. Okay. They're releasing the tackle. Referee uh, awarding another penalty to uh, Shogun opting to uh, go for the corner. Most teams are tending to prefer the scrum to open up space on the field. But uh, I've got to say, it wasn't a great kick to the corner either. They haven't gained no. a lot there, so. Could have bought um, a few more meters, but he trusts his back line. And so if he trusts his hooker, he needs to be straighter than the last throw. Yeah, lovely piece of set piece work from the Shogun. Stevens Good with leg crash. Drive. Quick recycle of the ball from oh. Vitapolo and another great short line coming in from the Shogun side. Oh, oh, lovely. Short ball offloading to the player in support off the shoulder. Wonderful try. Easy ball, oh, easy try. So fine, Maka with the five pointer. Good build up by the Shogun team. And have you seen most of the other games this morning, Terry? I've been watching a few. Did a bit of commentary in the morning when it was uh, more difficult. We didn't have the uh, the player list. Team so uh, <laughs> And who are the teams to watch? Do you think? Well, I think uh, Shogun definitely came through as a uh, as a strong team. Um, I guess uh, this morning the uh, YCAC looked strong, but they just went down recently to the That's right, uh, to the pig bar, to the pig athletic pig club. So um, the Barbas, that, um, so that was a little bit of a surprise. But two very strong teams there that could potentially go a lot further in the competition. Nice high kick off into space. Great take there by Tropics. All the pressure on, but he very strong over the ball. Fortunate he's lost it in that ruck, and once again Shogun are on attack here. Oh. 
some friendly okay. welcome to Tens Rugby. Yeah. I think they were discussing uh, the decoration in the sportsman's bar, Sam, or I think maybe so. something uh, a little less agreeable. Shopping in Hong Kong was the topic. Yeah. Um, Surprising, you know, a lot of these men know each other from different clubs and different teams. And, and, and there's, a, there's a circuit of events that they yes. tend to go to, so they, they'll have met each other before, so there might be some old grudges that, uh, that bubble through the surface. Okay. Once it's again, there's a high hit there. Someone's not happy with something. And Touch uh, judge's flag is out. He so has we got his flag out. Hopefully we may see a replay of this, but he's obviously unhappy with someone in the Shogun team. And the block of yellow. cheese comes out. High tackle rule by the ref, so um, two minutes in the naughty chair. Never helps your prospects. Been a number of cards shown so far in this tournament, as we were saying. Yeah, and, and a, a lot of it's, uh, no, that was that was high tackle, so it was foul play. A lot of it, so it's more slowing the ball down, disruptive play that uh, that draws the attention of the referees. And uh, big substitution here for Shogun players coming on. Yeah, I, I, and and, and Marty Nadal and. <laughs> Mr. I'll and, come and fix it. Yeah, and Toby uh, Jiraka. And number 12, who is not listed on our sheet. No, but I, Toby, uh, Toby Jiraka actually yeah. plays out of the Valley Rugby yeah. Club. So, um, as we were saying earlier, it's also a good opportunity for Hong Kong based players to be involved. Oh, excellent, yeah. Especially playing with. Uh, guys that are playing a higher level of rugby offshore somewhere it, you know it sharpens their skills it, that's uh, right makes their focus uh, stronger it's a good experience Nandolo and in the center here lining up for the big hit clearing kick option but there is someone back home here yeah. for the tropic side Kruger's back in place and with good support so Afa Pakalani yeah. Great tackle made. High level of intensity already in this game. The hits are coming through thick and fast. Uh, Ashbury hit. Tropics continuing to try and plug it up the middle, but um, seemingly suiting the defence of. Uh, Nandola went in for a hit there. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, he found a target uh, within uh, walking distance and took advantage of that. Um, Penalty and they've gone Referees have an interesting job. There's, uh, there's a high level of tension in this game. I mean, both teams have a high level of skill, but uh, it's turning into a very physical confrontation at the moment. It so is. Of course, Shogun's still with a man down. Yeah, and neither team wanting to back down. So Astrid Tropics uh, all lined out to the left-hand side, the football club side of the uh, of the ground. Yeah, it looks like Shogun are back to ten. Surprisingly, yeah. Nondolo predictably with the ball yeah, carries it up, up the middle. middle. Oh, and and got some very good pace there. Bit of space here on the left if they can get it out. And unfortunately, mm. just lose it in the It'll contact area. And there you go, all that a lot of off the ball pushes here, Terry. Yeah, the, the level of tension staying up there. It's um, we're not seeing a lot of open flowing rugby. They're both teams preferring to uh, confront each other and uh, and try and stamp their physical mark on it. But you know we're just under two minutes from the end of the half, and um, yeah, someone's going to need to score now. If it's Estuary Tropics, it'll bring them back into the game. If uh, We've got the Shogun going ahead. It, uh, it might make it difficult going forward for the Astrid Tropics. Yeah, team. a minute and a half left in this first half. Surely Tropics will be looking to get on the scoreboard. Interesting. Uh, they they tend to move Nadolo around. He's uh, he's in the critical scrums, and the short ball runs close to the line. So uh, he's lending his um, his substantial frame to uh, scrum dominance in this instance. And, uh, 
see what he can do. I like Strong it. scrum, well cleared Big by scrum. Shogun. Well oh, played, an excellent bit of footwork just there. Just half break at the backfield. Quick recycle of the ball, and once again, retention of possession. We have found the, the winger here. Nice hands. Under pressure with the uh, the high ball coming over the top. Again, recycle quickly. Good pace. Excellent oh, bit of space nice there. running off the shoulder. Saw a bit of space. And it's number number five yeah, here yeah. for the Shogun team. And Rhodes Featherston streaking away, showing a good turn of pace. That's the second try here for the Shogun RFC team over Tropics. They'd be disappointed without the Tropics. Yeah, and, and the risk of playing that overly physical game is you can you can get so concerned about confronting and you you forget about what's around you and and. That situation, the Ashbury Tropics, sorry, the Shogun did a, a great job of sending the support runners through and coming off the shoulder. Uh, referee blows for half time, and Shogun out to 12 0. Agree. They're controlling the game well here. They were being very niggly with the Tropics side, obviously, have rabbled them up a little bit. And then, unfortunately for the Tropics, their answer was Nondolo, who came on. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, he's got good impact in set-piece scrums and going forward on short balls. But, you know, once the game opens up and breaks up and there's a lot of space, he, you know, he's not, uh, he's not covering the yards that he used to. And no. uh, he becomes a little bit of a liability. That's right. Um, you know, the, the quicker, smaller guys get space around him. And, he, That's right. you know, his reactions aren't as, uh, as good as they once used to be. So he's... Uh, so it's a, it's a real balancing act in terms of his impact on the game. It is, and it's great for the tournament and the team like Tropics to have a name like Naman and Nondola oh, to and play he's, with them. You know, he's an icon. He's a, yeah. he's a, he's a big head. He's played professional rugby for so long in, in Europe and um, is known, you know, obviously known very well in Fiji for his earlier days. He, he made his name and uh, he's, he's played all over the world. And he's, you know, he's, he's also big and imposing as he is he's a lovely gentleman of the game he, uh, definitely and he's come over as the player coach for this tropic side as we see shogun's finished up their team talk here in a very dominant position so far in this game 12 points to nil going into the second half they'd be yeah. rather comfortable yeah well they'll be playing into the breeze but i don't think that'll worry them because they've you know they're, they're quite happy to keep the ball in hand and, and, and attack the line. So it um, be interesting to see. Uh, it's funny, early in the day, you see um, players walking off and limps uh, <laughs> rolled out of the tournament already. It's, um, it's a very, Halfway very through day one. It's a very, very physical game, and the attrition rate is relatively high. So uh, we've got Ashbury Tropics to, uh, to restart the second half, kicking off. Look, Looks like they'll be kicking towards the, the football club side of the, the ground. Number 14, Afa Pakalani, their playmaker. It's been very good for them all day today. We'll be looking to rally the boys up. Nice kick and well taken. Okay, Shogun quick into their work. Ooh. Ah, bit of miscommunication there. The winger was trying to cut in, but... Yeah. But the, the tackler um, put the passer under pressure, and just that little, uh, little, bit, little bit of late pressure directed the pass behind the shoulder of the support runner and made it much more difficult. So uh, good pressure from uh, the Tropics team. Yeah, just what they would be wanting. Nine and a half minutes left to go. They know they need to score next to remain in this game. And Nadolo noticeably absent, so the scrum slightly smaller as a result. <laughs> and here and, comes the secondary Sh shove from Shogun. Shogun. Yeah, Shogun taking advantage of that uh, lack of bulk and uh, putting a lot of pressure on. So they get a second chance, uh, S3 Tropics, but they'll be wanting to get this ball in and out quite clean and uh, away into open spaces. Nadolo back on the bench next to Tropics coach Ben Gollings.
Alex Jones with the feed and finds Will Morris, of course, who plays his trade here in Kowloon Rugby Club. Great pressure coming on. Tropic's got a turnover Ooh. here. Okay, referee rules there was a second knock on, which is why he couldn't play advantage. Looked like um, Tropics had an opportunity out wide there, but. Uh, yeah, I thought so too. Ref pulling them back. Tropics in good position. Right. Patiently building up. Backline split to either side. Which way will they go? Shogun, uh, very wide in their defence. Yeah, we've got Will Morris and Will Pande parked up here on the right. Ball. They choose to go right, and he just can't quite link up with Morris. Huge counter-attack coming here on the ruck, but Shogun have got back on their feet. Tropics trying to keep it alive. Nice. So I'd almost an intercept there, um, uh, resulting in a knock-on, and uh, unlike the one-handed attempts to uh, to get the ball, that's not punished with a yellow card, no. th thankfully. A genuine attempt to retrieve the ball, and he nearly got it and got away. But the uh, Shogun defence is actually showing good uh, resolve and, uh, and coming up and cutting down the space of the Ashford Tropics. Yeah, team. this will be the third scrum in a row they're having to defend. Once again, they're competing in the scrum. They've twisted it, but it goes in favor of Tropics. And we've got a little wraparound play here. Space up the middle. Choosing to leave we it. Know oh, man, we know uh, half back. We just there. Balls, balls out, referee says. The opportunity missed there. Ashbury Tropics didn't actually have a half back there to distribute the ball when it was available. Must release, must roll away. Oh, more was called. Ooh. Yeah, so good uh, good play by uh, Shogun. They made a good solid stand-up tackle. The tackle player wasn't able to get his knee to the ground, so uh, resulted in a maul, and they um, they held the ball in to uh, get the yes, turnover. Yes, held him up long enough. Five seconds later, it would have been play on. And now Shogun find themselves with a defensive scrum at two metres away from their own try line. Of course... Six minutes left in the game. Okay, going blind. And he chooses and a to go. He sees a bit of space. Here this we go. This is actually a great creative piece of work. Number 10 for the uh, Shogun Streaks away, Adam Lennox. And that was very clever play. Very clever. Shot around the blind. Saw I've... a bit of space, pinned his ears back. And, it, it, you know, it just shows you can't assume... I'm sure Ashby Tropics were assuming they might be facing a kick and a clearance to touch. But uh, Adam Lennox said, no, I can see an opportunity, and he gassed it down That's the wing, right. outstripped the defender and uh, scored in the corner. And Left what a great a score it was. Conversion. Yes, but, well, he's stretched his team out 17 points to nothing with a possible two here. No, that Just um, to the left. doesn't even get a merit. Completely to the left. <laughs> Um, but yeah, what yeah. a great finish Not there. Not sure his first choice to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, but surprisingly enough, the scoreline's gone out to 70 nil, and the two teams, there's not that much of a difference between them. You there isn't. Thought. Unfortunately, Tropics have had a lot of possession and territory. They just yeah. can't come away with any points. But again, you see, they, they were five metres from their line there. And unfortunately... You don't need territory if you've got uh, a clever halfback who can put your winger in space. No, and unfortunately, they could not gather that kickoff falls in favor of Shogun, who are certainly showing their dominance in this game. Yeah, I think uh, Asprey Tropics are going to have to come up with something very quick and very substantial, otherwise this game's going to get away from them. Yeah, Tropics definitely need to score next to remain in this fixture. But Shogun know exactly what they're doing. Logan Crowley, the scrum half there, taking his time.
solid platform here for the Shogun team to build off and a tidy little wrap around oh, there. Wrap around move. Easily in, untouched in the corner. Brayton Hill with a five pointer. Really seals the deal for this game for the Shogun side. Yeah, but it actually shows that the, um, the, the team actually, you know, when they pull up a move like that that puts Brayton. Northcott Hill in, in the corner there. It's very, very well coordinated, well rehearsed, and obviously something uh, that's come from the training paddock rather than spur of the moment. So, again, the, yeah. the conversion missed, so 22 0 to Shogun, and, and a scoreline we just didn't see coming early in the game. No, we came into it expecting it to be a lot closer. Unfortunately for Tropics, things haven't fallen their way, decisions haven't gone their way. They've got a couple of more minutes left, and Big Nondola is on the pitch once again. Yes, yeah, what we like to see, lovely touches. And unfortunately, his support player, Ben Kite, just loses that ball into contact. It's funny, people look at him and see a, a huge player, which he is, but his skill level is incredible. And, and, and his accuracy, everything he's done, even his cleanouts and the breakdown, his body position is perfect. He's got all that experience and he puts it to good use every part of the game. Mm. He can certainly shift. Crowley with the ball here. About a, just under two minutes left in this game. Shogun really looking like real winners here. It's another short line attempt, but a great offload. Oh. Big handoff. And it's Ian West Stevens goes in, in the corner and uh, doing it comfortably now, Shoga. They are certainly showing like the real contenders for the finals here. Yeah. Tell you what, they're getting great service from Logan Crowley at the, the base of the scrum. He's, he's creating a lot of these opportunities, getting the ball away quick. And, He's part of the uh, the Crowley dynasty from Taranaki in, in New Zealand. Right, uh, is another, there one? An, another generation. <laughs> <laughs> there are several names here who we could link in with a dynasty, I believe. I'm sure their coach, Jimmy Ma, from County's Manukau, certainly got that New Zealand connection. As we see the replay here of Stevens finishing in the corner, Scoreline out to 27 nil now, so it's um, playing for pride now. As uh, oh, as far as this retrogs are, and unfortunately not taking that kick off. When you know you've got big guys running at you, it is often easy to sneak a peek and see what's coming rather than uh, securing the ball yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and doing doing job number one first. Correct. You hear those footsteps coming, and poor Adam McLean there playing out of Sandy Bay featuring for this tropic side just loses that ball forward got a new scrum half on here quick taps taken shogun will be looking for another try just to get the cherry on top great short ball okay and another Another lovely subtle little offload, good support lines, and Shogun are in for uh, another try in the right. last minute of the game. So uh, that will see the end of the game. 32-0 um, with the conversion to come. Sam, they've been dominant now. Haven't Very they? good. They, you know, they had a bit was, of a slow start, but they've taken away. Yeah, it was it was tight at first and with a very very physical battle. They, I think they they probably won that physical battle and yeah. uh, and then they certainly won the tactical battle since then so very much so and the final score is 34 to nil shogun really just showed their short lines changing up direction hitting the ball at pace yeah yeah they're not a team that relies on any one individual they uh, no. they've got guys all over the park that can break the line and and we support see the players with the instinct to run off those uh, players. Right. As we see exactly that in that final try Right, so as the players leave the field now, we're our next game, we'll see Papua New Guinea 
playing the Jiangsu Lions. Um, right. Jiangsu Lions had a very, very uh, plucky game earlier on in the day. Performed um, well above um, expectations. Uh, PNG uh, played, ran into a bit of uh, yellow card trouble in their first game, so uh, might be a game where discipline needs to be uh, adhered to uh, 